learning to manage the cycles in your business or the seasons in your business, understanding what they are and learning how to manage your business using them is going to drastically increase your results and get you to success faster. So what exactly are seasons? Okay. What are they? What are these cycles? Well, there's cycles in your business that show increases in sales and decreases in sales at different times. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, the seasons have to follow the, the seasons that we have on earth, right? Winter, spring, summer, fall. And I like to think of them in that way, but they don't necessarily match up with the months that we experience those seasons in. So these seasons, happen in our business. For some businesses, they might be, you might have one season that's one month and then another season that's four months. I mean, it just depends on your business, your industry, um, and just who, just you. Um, it doesn't matter what the person down the street is doing. It doesn't matter what someone else in the, in your industry is doing. Just matter. It just matters for your unique business. And the more we can learn how to manage these cycles, these ups and downs, these ebbs and flows, and different activities that happen in each, the more you're going to be, be able to build stability and scalability into your business so that no matter what comes your way, you're gonna be able to keep going and there's gonna be no disruption, right? So, all right, so what are these, these seasons? Um, oh, and the other thing is, managing by these seasons and learning how to do this is what gives us those, lets us work in rhythms. And I bring this up because so many people think that they have one season, they have one mode, they have one speed in their business, which is just going at a thousand miles an hour constantly. It's that go, go, go. It's that hustle, hustle, hustle. It's that working in your business and not working on your business, being the technician and not being the visionary. So when we understand these seasons and these cycles, we are able to have create a rhythm for ourselves and for our business so that we don't have burnout, so that our employees stay happy, so that we're able to remain creative and do the things that we need to do to move our vision forward. When we focus and function in one season, which for most people, and I did this, I am not exempt from it, but for most people, it's that go, 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 hustle, 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 you know, speed, gotta make money, gotta do this. When we function in that season for a very, very long period of time, that's when burnout sets in. Burnout sets in, frustration sets in, and a lot of people wanna give up. And so many small businesses close after 18 months, their first 18 months. And many reasons, it's because they're just focusing in that one season. So learning what the different seasons are and understanding what activities you do in each season is so, so, so key in, again, creating stability in your business and scalability in your business. So these four seasons, I like to think of them, we're just gonna talk about them in regular season. So spring, that's our creation. That's our creation season. So this is the time when we want to do brainstorming. We want to do planning. We want to do, you know, goal setting. We want to think about, okay, what is it that we really want to do? What is our vision and what is going to align with our vision to move us forward the fastest? That's when we start to really create. That's why it's the creation um, if you think about spring, just in general, what spring's about, it's about things blooming. It's about create like things starting to be created that have been dormant for a while or have been sleeping for a while. So that's our creation phase. Number two, which is like summer, this is our growth, okay? This is when we start executing things. We really go head on into projects and executing things that we ideated, love that word, in our in our creation phase, okay? So in the growth phase, in summer, stuff is starting to grow, it's starting to bloom, it's starting to blossom, it's starting to, it's really starting to, to get roots and really starting to take off. Because then, and again, that's when we want to um, start executing on projects. That's when money and cash flow is gonna start rolling in. In the creation phase, we might not have as much cash flow coming in, 
okay? But we start to ramp up in our growth phase. So spending, looking at what do we need to spend? What do our expenses look like? And predicting or looking at, okay, what were our sales from last year? And what do we need to do this year to either make or exceed what we did last year? Um, looking at our goals, what do we need to do to achieve those goals from a financial standpoint, but also from an impact standpoint? What are we gonna do to impact the lives of the people that visit our business every single day? So number three is, probably guessed it, after that growth phase, now we're gonna harvest it. This is a huge influx of cash. So think about a time in your business, You know, if you're in retail, it's probably around Christmas time, um, a time in your business when you are super, super, super busy. And again, it's different for different businesses. I have someone that I work with that owns an Irish business. So obviously St. Patty's Day is a huge thing for them. It is bigger than some days during Christmas time. So it just depends on your own individual business, your own unique business. So, but this period is a period of a lot of activity. A lot of activity, a lot of hours, a lot of work, a lot of going around, but you've already done the things that you need to do, brainstorming and planning and executing and making sure everybody's on the same page in those two seasons prior, so that when you get to this season, you are ready to go. You are ready to go and you have cash flow coming in. You might not have as many expenses coming in as you did in prior times, so you've gotten over that hump, but now what we do with that influx of cash is we wanna make sure that we are either reinvesting back in the business, okay? We can do that in this season or the season that's coming. And also we are saying, what can we do? And reinvesting back in your business could be infrastructure, people and bonuses, um, systems, okay? Do we need computer systems? But we also wanna make sure that we're putting some cash away because in the next season, which is our reflection season. This is like winter. So we're going through that huge period where we're go, 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 and it's busy, 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 and there's all kinds of action going on, all kinds of activities, events and promotions and foot traffic and all kinds of things to increase our cash flow, to increase the cash into our business, to increase the, the revenue. So during that reflection period, that's when we get a chance to breathe. And this is, the, this is the season that people do not want to do. They think it's, it's not important and it is the most important. It's that time to reflect. It's that time to rest. It's that time to think about what is it that we want to do next. It's that time to celebrate the wins that you've had. And to also, again, you might even take that time to do that reinvesting in your business since you have the time to do it. You have the time to breathe. Um, and also you don't have to worry because typically in that season, not a lot of cash coming in, but it's okay because you've already planned for it. So we have the creation season, the growth season, the harvest season, and the reflection season. It's really important that you have each one of those seasons in your business to prevent burnout, to prevent disgruntled employees, to prevent suffering from cash crunch, and actually you have cash flow, but to also make sure that you're planning the right activities in each one of those time periods. And that's how we can create a rhythm for us, a healthy rhythm that allows our business to flourish and thrive no matter what. So two things, two key things that you wanna remember that will help you to manage the seasons in your business. One is a cash flow report, simply shows the ins and outs, what's coming in, what's going out, different weeks, different periods, depending on how you do it. And the second one is to make sure that you have a budget that shows this is our forecast, our budget that we wanna spend and our forecast of where we wanna go, but also measures the actuals that are happening, that those actual numbers. This will help you to forecast out, these are the expenses that we know are coming in, so we know that if we are in that harvest or even in that growth season, we know that we need to put some cash away so that we don't run into a cash crunch. So learning how to manage these cycles, these rhythms, these seasons in your business is going to help you to build more stability and scalability into your business 
and help you thrive in any environment. So I hope this helped you. Until next time, I'm Teresa Cantley, and I will see you soon.